So you're thinking about making a move to Boca Raton. Excellent idea. In this video, I'm gonna give you the seven things that you need to know about living in Boca Raton. Honestly, we get so many calls, texts, and emails every single day from people who are looking to move here to Boca Raton and the surrounding cities here in Southeast Florida, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move down here, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can even send a smoke signal or carrier pigeon. However you wanna communicate, we got your back when moving to South Florida. So the first thing you need to know about Boca Raton is that it's really separated between East Boca and West Boca. The dividing line between East Boca and West Boca, depending on where you are within the city, tends to be somewhere around the turnpike. Um, so East Boca, typically as far as housing goes, you're gonna get slightly older houses, slightly smaller, uh, but you are closer to a lot of restaurants, you're closer to the beach, um, the schools are excellent out east, so uh, you get slightly older, but a lot of them have been updated and renovated. If you go farther out west, you get more bang for your buck. So you get, uh, you know, the homes are typically built in the 90s or a little bit uh, newer. You get bigger lots, bigger homes, so you just get more home for your money in West Boca versus East Boca, but you are farther west, you're farther away from the action. Either way, the schools are really good there. There's good gated and non-gated neighborhoods in both sections. There's you know, country clubs, there's non-country clubs in either way. So it really just does become a matter of preference. What can you afford for your budget and what makes more sense for you? When you're farther west, you're out of the city proper, so you're technically in unincorporated Palm Beach County. So you get Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office versus Boca Raton Police. Um, but either way, you know, the, it, they're both great areas. It just does become a matter of preference. Number two is that we have great schools here in Boca Raton. Just about no matter where you are in Boca, all the schools are rated at least an eight out of 10, if not a nine or a 10 out of 10. There's a ton of options to choose from. We have four high schools, there's a bunch of middle schools, a ton of elementary schools. We have great parochial schools, uh, private schools. There's a ton of options out there. So if you're thinking about moving to South Florida and living in Boca Raton with a family, this is an excellent place to raise a family. A lot of people who come down here to Boca, they do it because they want to put their kids in the best schools possible, so they're willing to pay a little bit more and maybe get less bang for your buck as far as house because they want to get the best schools. Boca is an excellent place to raise a family. Number three, you're gonna hear a lot, Boca Raton, that's where my grandparents live. And they might live in Boca Raton, but realistically, a lot of the 55 and over communities that are down here are in Delray and in Boynton, which are the two cities just to the north of Boca. So we do have a lot of retirees who come to South Florida. Uh, they, they come here for a lot of reasons. Number one, we don't have a state income tax. You know, there's great weather, things like that. So there are a lot of retirees. You are gonna see on a lot of the menus in some of the restaurants, some early bird specials and things like that. But in general, most of the retirees live a little bit farther north of Boca. Um, and Boca really is more of a family friendly, great place to be uh, all ages. Number four is weather. The weather's great here all year round from July till basically the end of October. It's very, very hot. You know, it's the peak of hurricane season. So we do have storms, you know, it's high humidity in the summer, but from November to, you know, April-ish, the weather is immaculate. You know, in December and January, we're in the 60s and 70s. It's beautiful. You can go to the beach all year round. The weather is really, really nice down here. You just have to know how to prepare for hurricane season if and when a storm does come our way. Number five, is people love their pets here. You're gonna see when you go to the mall, sometimes when you go to restaurants, people pushing their dog in a stroller, they carry it around with them, you know, in their arm like this. That's just Boca, people love their pets. It's one of the things you just get used to. It's just one of those quirks about living here in South Florida. Number six is snowbird season. Snowbird season's from December till basically the end of March. We get a lot of people who are coming to South Florida to escape the colder weather from northern parts of the country and from across the world. We get a lot of people from Canada, uh, from Great Britain, from you know, France, all over Europe. So we get a lot of snowbirds that come basically from December till March. Traffic is noticeably higher on the road, but it's never too crazy. You just gotta know that you're gonna deal with people that time of year that really aren't from here. Just one of the things that uh, you learn to love about South Florida. Number seven is traffic. So traffic can be bad depending on the time of year and depending on the time of day. Obviously it's worse during snowbird season when there's more people down here and more people on the roads, but it's really never terrible. It's not like you're in a congested city. You're not like in Brickell in downtown Miami or in Manhattan in New York. It's definitely not like that. Traffic is really only bad you know, during rush hours on I-95, it can get bad. And then if you're going east to west or west to east, 
um, you know, it's not bad, bad, but you are, you are gonna hit a lot of lights as you're going east to west. Uh, but realistically, we don't have terrible traffic down here. It's just one of the things that during winter time, you gotta know that you gotta leave a little bit early because you're gonna run into more people on the road. So those are my seven tips about living in Boca Raton. If you have any questions, or if you're thinking about making a move to Boca, any of the surrounding cities, or anywhere here in Southeast Florida, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We got your back when moving to South Florida.